Hey all, Russ here, our very TV. Welcome. Check it out. We are on I-40 and we are heading west. Little road trip. We're heading to the coast, Pacific Ocean. We're going to take about a four day trip here. Getting a little late start today. Gonna make it over uh, just around Bakersfield. Gonna stop at an RV park called Orange Grove RV Park. Uh, right here is exit one, last exit in Arizona. We're getting ready to cross the mighty Colorado River. That's also the road takes you up to Oatman, Route 66. There's the big white bridge. That's uh, natural gas pipelines. Railroad track on the right. Here we go, leaving Arizona. There's the Colorado. And we are now in California. Got to go through their uh, fruit vegetable inspection station up there. They always ask you if you got fruits and vegetables with you or plants. We got a truck across the Mojave Desert. Here we go. We're going to cut over to Barstow. And there we pick up I-15 and then we'll drop south. But you can see there is nothing out here. It can get so hot here in the summer, over 100 degrees uh, daily. I-40, it cuts over to Barstow once again, then uh, it actually ends in Barstow. There's natural reserves out here in the desert. Also, uh, Route 66 parallels a lot of the interstate here. That's off to the left to be to the south, but parts of that road is closed anymore. All right, we're getting up closer to uh, our little rest area. I'm gonna stop, take a break. There's lava fields out here. Kind of unique area. Those mountains up to the left. We're not too much farther into Barstow. So let's make a quick pit stop. Weather is warm, bordering hot. Hot, hot. I gotta change out all the camera batteries and stuff too. All right, here we are. Look at the terrain here, isn't that unique? Just lava field after lava field mixed in with the desert sand. I usually stop here at this rest area. Then out that direction is Route 66, that road right out there. There's the old route. Gonna have to drive that one day. Maybe soon. But as far as you can see, Lava fields and there's your Mojave Desert.
All right, back on the road. We're not too much farther up to Barstow. Oh, look at this sign here. It says National Trails Highway. That's another name for Route 66. You know, a lot of people sure drive that Route 66. Just to experience it. And this is probably the most popular section up through here for it in California. Barstow, Victorville, and then all the way over to Needles. Okay, not too much farther, a mile or two up here will be the end of I-40. This is where it dead ends into I-15. Three quarters of a mile. Then we drop south, we're going to pick up Highway 58. Now the reason for this trip, I read and I actually have friends that live over this direction. I, you know, I lived in California for close to 30 years. I haven't for a long time. I left in the early 2000s, but uh, there's still a spring bloom going here. We're going to find it. We won't see it till tomorrow. It's kind of, kind of a long trip. From northern Arizona over to where we're going is going to be close to 400 miles. But anyway, I thought it'd be epic be a long weekend trip. Figured four nights. I actually reserved uh, an RV site up here at Orange Grove. That's in Edison. That's right before you get into Bakersfield. And tomorrow we'll be staying right on the coast over by Morrow Bay. And we'll be on that Highway 58 all the way over to there. All right, here we go. We're merging on I-15. I-15 to take you all the way down to L.A., San Bernardino. And actually, it'll take you all the way down to San Diego. Or close to it, anyway. But we're not going there. We're going to cut straight west. There's a highway called Highway 58. It's right up the road here. I don't know, maybe four or five miles. Barstow is a desert town. I mean, there's nothing but desert around here. All right, here's our turnoff, Highway 58. Takes us, it'll cut us clear over to Bakersfield. Right before Bakersfield, though, we're going to pull off for the night. There's also a pretty cool, uh, it should be open place called Murray's Farms. Get fruits and vegetables. It's always a cool little stop. Years ago I used to travel through here all the time. All right we're gonna follow this truck. He's going to Bakersfield. Winds can really blow out through here. Dust storms. In a way, it kind of reminds me of down around uh, Quartzsite a little bit, the terrain. Big open desert. If you ever drive that stretch along I-10, like from Quartzsite to Phoenix. Kind of the same stuff. Okay, there's going to be a little bit of a stretch here. Uh, I'll kick the cameras on if I see something good. Once we get over towards uh, Tehachapi, there's a bunch of windmills, kind of scenic. We'll definitely check that area. But to start the journey, I figure I get most of the miles done in the first day. Because we'll slow it up once we get uh, tomorrow when we get closer to the coast. We'll look for that spring bloom which is supposed to be right on this Highway 58.
well, still got the same view. <laughs> Up through here, there's uh, Kramer's Junction, a lot of gas stations, that kind of thing, truck stops. Truckers love this route. I mean, it's a straight cut through between I-5, I-15, plus they miss all the L.A. stuff. No, not the traffic up here like you get down south. Which L.A., I don't care to go down there anymore. And there's a picture out of the rear view mirror. <laughs> Alright, see something good? I'll kick the cameras back on. Okay, that was a long stretch. Nothing but desert. See the windmills on the left? We're getting up into uh, what they call Tehachapi. Tehachapi, California. There's a bunch of little towns up through here. We also passed uh, Edwards Air Force Base. Back the road away is a uh, huge military base, still active. There's also a pretty steep grade coming up here. Uh, it drops you all the way down into uh, San Joaquin Valley, Sacramento Valley, where all the agriculture is down around Bakersfield and north. Very fast paced road. You can see it's getting a little congested. But it's too far to drive the whole thing in one day. Plus, you couldn't film it. So, this way, where we're going to spend the night there at Orange Grove RV Park, get a super early start, and we'll catch that spring bloom tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Hey, got passed by a fifth wheel. They're in a hurry. Not too much farther up here will be that Murray's Farms. They're going to make a stop. Here's the steeper part, 5% grade. Going down's good, coming back up. Gonna take you a while in a rig, RV. Temperature right now is 87 and warming up. The farther we go downhill, it's getting warmer. Now, up here, you can start seeing all the agriculture fields. I mean, massive. From Bakersfield all the way up north of Sacramento. There they are, this huge. They grow everything here, from desert to that. <laughs> but they got the water, all the aqueducts and everything. Okay, hey, here we are. We're going to make a little pit stop. We're close to the RV park, too. Always like stopping here. It's 
called Murray's Family Farms. They always sell the best uh, fruits. They got flowers, all kinds of stuff. They grow stuff here year round. They've been here a very long time. They sell fuel, but it's pretty expensive here. And you get something to eat. Anyway, that would be kind of fun. We'll walk around, take a break before we head over to the RV park. There it is. We'll go in the building in a minute. Pretty good RV parking. They got plenty of room. Buses stop here. Look at the flowers. Oh, goodness. They're very fragrant. You can really smell it. Cool. See what else I got around. I see some chickens. What else I got in here? Flowers are really blooming this year. You know, the amount of rain, California got inundated with it. Snowpacks are melting. All the reservoirs got filled up for a change. Well, I see chickens. Some other big birds. They are chirping and happy, aren't they? Oh, look at this guy coming over. Bet he thinks it's dinner time. Huh? <laughs> I'm sure he is well fed. Wow, look at the colors on him. Hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> they also got peacocks back in there. Boy, look at the feathers on them things, they're huge. All right, no food for you. Well, we say let's wander around. Wow, look at these guys, they're happy. Yellows, reds, oranges. Not sure what kind those are. I need to get that app on my phone that tells you the, what kind of plants they are. Alright, let's go on in. Murray Family Farms. Big old fountain. Looks like they're filling it. Cool place to stop at lunch. Pick you up some fruit. Let's go on in. So sweet treats for a sweet tooth, huh? When the stuff comes in season, this place is packed. Outside seating. We got picnic areas. And if you buy fuel here, uh, they give you free fruit too. So, pretty cool little stop if you ever get chances on Highway 58 between Tehachapi and Bakersfield. Wow, those are purple, huh? stop and show you this. I used to stop here all the time. Still here, that's a good thing. Alright, we're only about nine miles from the RV park. We'll get checked in. Good 
Look at that, they even painted the water tanks. Got fruit and colors everywhere. Straight out is desert. <laughs> right, right here we jump right back on 58. Heading west. Here we go. We're looking for exit 119. It's uh, called Edison. It's actually a community the RV parks in. Okay, here it is here. Edison Road. right up here on the right it looks like an orange grove guess what it's an RV park inside of an orange grove I'll never forget the very first time I stayed here you could actually pick the oranges right off the tree and eat all you want take them with you they were everywhere right here to the right it's called orange grove RV park if you ever get a chance stop here this will be my let's see third time here I made a reservation ahead of time, so let's pull on in. I'll run in the office, figure out what site they want me in. There's showers and restrooms, or clubhouse there, it looks like an old style town. You'll see it, out. we'll walk around. All right, let me go get checked in. Base 36. Park looks pretty empty. I still called ahead and made a reservation. But you can see every site there's orange trees. And they harvest them, they're all taken care of. This is a very active orange grove. There's our clubhouse, meeting house in there on the right. Very well maintained, rates are reasonable for what it is. All right, let me get parked, plugged in. Gotta run the air conditioner for sure, it's hot. Well, the trees are just blossoming. There's nothing to pick this trip. But you get a little bit of shade from the trees, not too much. But you can see, you can stay here. I think they even have monthly rates. Horseshoe pits, and they got a big dog park. That's actually their clubhouse, big meeting hall. So if you have big groups, RV groups, you can have meetings and all kinds of functions in there. Look at all the flowers. I mean, this place uh, is really well done. And check out these trees. <laughs> it's like they take a pair of scissors and trim them things up, huh? There's more of them out front of the office. We'll go take a peek at them too. Yeah, I'll never forget the first time I seen these. Stayed here. There's nothing better than picking an orange off a tree and be able to eat it. It's super sweet. And it gets hot here, and guess what? They got a swimming pool. 
laundry rooms. Look at that hedge. Like a big O for an orange, huh? <laughs> So it's definitely kid friendly. Super nice people that run it. Well, let's go to the saloon, huh? It's all locked up. Now you can really see what it is here. Look at the big orange grove. I mean, they got a lot of acres of trees. They put the RV park, you know, it's kind of smart. RV park probably generates a lot of revenue for them. Helps pay the bills. We can see all the sites, they got a lot of them. I think first year I came here was 2016. But you can see sites are big. They don't squeeze you in like a lot of RV parks. You got plenty of room. Big rigs, small rigs, you name it. Well, this is home for the night. Tomorrow we continue on Highway 58. We're gonna go find that spring bloom. Journey continues.